and it's going to be a free kick and it's it's uh, Luke Lucas who looks like he's going to hit it he's also got Paul Fox there so Paul Fox is the left footed option and he has a go and he sticks it into the corner what a goal that is 1-0 to Cabin Healy he came up with that left foot of his Paul Fox and bent it around the wall into David Adamos' right hand corner no chance for the goalkeeper and uh, with uh, seven minutes gone it's Cabin Healy at the moment Brandon Birmingham's coming from he's got Christian Latifa for company and he just can't shake him off great defending by Latifa. he's not committing himself he's not sticking the leg out but a great ball to the back post from Lyons it's dropped back to Brandon Birmingham is Jake Highland offside no I don't think he is it's one all would you believe it straight away great bit of play from Chris Lyons there and uh, Highland tapped it in from about three yards out but uh, it was a great ball across from Chris Lyons. Brandon Burnham did ever so well to get his head on it. Knocked it back across the goal. It looked like, at best, a clumsy challenge from Latifa. He stuck his leg in from pretty much behind Chris Lyons. And Lyons hit the deck. This time he's got a second chance. The ball comes across. And it was Brandon Birmingham. Is that in the net? I think it is. It's Mark Doyle. Would you believe it? Well, that's an incredible series of events. It was... An attempted clearance, Brandon Birmingham's effort, which he really should have scored from, mishit it completely, came back, was cleared by one of the Cabin Tilly defenders, hit the oncoming Mark Doyle and looped into the net. Hasn't been given, so Cabin Tilly keep all 11 players on the field and Jake Highland, with the referee getting the wall a good distance back, is uh, going to have a go with this, I would say. There's only three players in the box. Highland steps up, has a crack, and he puts it into the top corner! What a goal from Jake Hyland. Well, we've already seen one spectacular free kick in the first half. That was from Paul Fox. That one even better from Hyland. The keeper barely moved. And Drogheda finally get that third goal with just uh, 15 minutes gone in the second half. So, bang on the hour mark. Drogheda United make it to the season because it's such a short season. Here comes Connor Kane charging forward. Great run from him. And I read it. Uh, well, we'll just break off for a moment because James Clark has a go. It's saved by the keeper. Chris Lyons follows up. And there's an open goal for Mark Doyle. Surely, yes, 4-1. 4-1 to draw it. Doyle with a second. So two for Doyle. Two for Jake Hyland. And now 4-1. Surely, that's game set and match for draw the United. Don't want to put the jinx on them, but... Uh, You've got to be winning from this stage out. 4-1 up. They did miss those chances. Before. Mixed it. Lays it back to Adiemo on the edge of the box. Maybe Adam Wixted could have carried that on himself there. There was a gap in front of him. Adiemo still has it though. Back to Wixted again. Very tight on the edge of the box. He does well to find Connor Kane on the other side of the field. He gets his cross in. And it's five. It is five. It's Stephen Meany with a header at the back post. Beautiful bit of play from Adam Wixted. Just kept possession of the edge of the box, fed it out to Connor Kane. He got his cross in. A lovely floated cross to the back post. And in comes Stephen Meany to make it 5 1 to draw the United. And they are going to be top of the table tonight. With just a minute to go of normal time. Stephen Meany, the substitute at half time, come on for Brandon Birmingham.